Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Saloni Singh. In this series of 11 standard videos, we have already discussed some of the very important topics of chapter number 2 structure of atom 11, stand, uh, 11 standard CBSE. Uh, in this particular chapter, we have already finished some of very important topics like photoelectric effect, Rigbird constant. Thank you for giving a lot of support for the video of Rigbird constant. If you want to visit any of my previous videos, you can visit to my playlist for chapter number 2 structure of atom. So let's begin today's session. In today's session, we are going to talk about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. When you are talking about Heisenberg, he was a physicist basically and in 1927 this person has given his uncertainty principle based on the dual nature of matter. We know that matter shows both wave nature as well as particle nature. So based on the wave nature and particle nature, Heisenberg has observed one phenomena which he has named as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So let's see the statement. According to the statement of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, it is impossible to determine, it is impossible to determine simultaneously the position as well as the momentum of an electron. What does it mean? The whole statement states that, suppose consider this is your nucleus and this is the orbit on which an electron is moving. This electron is moving in this particular orbit. Suppose if the electron has reached to this position and I want to calculate its exact position. At that point of time, I want to calculate its exact position that I can determine but simultaneously I cannot determine its velocity. That means, अगर कोई electron एक particular orbit पे move कर रहा है, तो आप उसकी position और velocity साथ में उसी वक्त पे determine नहीं कर सकते. Simultaneously word is very important in the statement. That means at the same given point of time, you cannot determine its exact position as well as exact velocity. So mathematically, Heisenberg has expressed his statement by writing this particular equation delta x into delta p is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi where delta x stands for uncertainty in position of an electron, delta p stands for uncertainty in momentum. Now what do you mean by momentum? Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Why do we need to consider mass in this case? Suppose if you have a piece of uh, a piece of, if you have crushed a paper and you have made a ball and uh, of the same size you have taken a stone. So you have one stone and one side you have a ball of crushed paper and you are going to hit someone with the same velocity which is going to have more impact the stone or this paper ball. Definitely the stone is going to have more impact as compared to this paper ball even if you are throwing it with the similar velocity. The reason behind that is the impact of the object not only depends upon its velocity but it also depends on mass. Heavier the mass of the body and with heavier speed it will be moving then its momentum will be higher. That is what you call as momentum. So basically momentum is the product of mass and velocity. So according to Heisenberg when the product of uncertainty in position and uncertainty in momentum was being calculated this, uh, uh, this uncertainty was found to be equal to or greater than h upon 4 pi. Yani ki jo uncertainty hogi position or momentum ke product ki wo ya to h upon 4 pi ke equal hogi ya fir usse zada hogi. Thikhe? That is according to this mathematical statement. Now let's come to this case. Here I have written delta x is inversely proportional to delta p. That means if you have determined the position of electron with some accuracy. Agar aapne electron ki position accuracy se determine kar li hai, to aap velocity, yani ki uska momentum utni accurately determine nahi kar sakte. The more precisely or the more accurately you will determine its position, the less accurately you will be able to determine its velocity. That means 
Vice versa is the case if you are able to determine velocity with certainty then the position will be highly uncertain if you determine the uh, uh, the position with the certainty velocity will be highly uncertain so we can say they both are inversely proportional okay now let's see its practical application when you comes in your practical life how can you think heisenberg has given this statement how can how can this be possible that we can determine the position and velocity before going to that point let's understand one example so that you can understand the next concept better so i have this piece of paper and i want to measure its thickness so if i want to measure its thickness can i measure it in kilometer or meter no not at all possibly nahi hai ye itni choti quantity hai ki aap ise kilometer ya meter mein to measure kar hi nahi sakte so in order to measure its thickness you need a unit which is smaller than this यानी कि आपको जो भी डायमेंशन मेंशन करना होता है या मेजर करना होता है यू आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू चूज स्लाइटली स्मॉलर क्वांटिटी देन दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट मुझे इसकी थिकनेस मेजर करने के लिए एक ऐसी छोटी क्वांटिटी चूज करनी पड़ेगी जिसकी जिसके बेसिस पे आप इसकी वैल्यू निकाल सको किलोमीटर या मीटर के बेसिस पे नहीं निकाल सकते ओके okay? so in the similar way when you are talking about this electron we know that if i want to measure the position and the velocity of this electron i to get such a quantity or such an instrumentation whose dimension is less than this electron electron se uska dimension kam hoga tabhi wo electron ki properties ko measure kar payega but we know that electron is a very small charged particle and it has its no dimension uska khud ka koi dimension hi nahi hai so what we can do we need to now select such thing which can actually determine its position and velocity aisa koi instrumentation hai nahi so what we are going to do we are going to choose a light of suitable wavelength theek hai why i am saying light of suitable wavelength because as you vary the wavelength it is going to affect the whole concept let's see how when i am taking a light of smaller wavelength वेवलेंथ अगर शॉर्ट है इलेक्ट्रॉन की साइज के अकॉर्डिंग वेवलेंथ शॉर्ट है सो डेफिनेटली व्हेन आई एम स्ट्राइकिंग दिस फोटोन ऑफ अ सूटेबल वेवलेंथ ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिनेटली इट विल गिव यू एक्यूरेसी ओके यू विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन द पोजीशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विद एक्यूरेसी देन वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम नाउ आई हैव टू डिटरमाइन द अनसर्टेनिटी इन द वेलॉसिटी now what is going to happen if your wave has smaller lambda value wavelength ki value agar choti hogi to kya hoga we know that energy is inversely proportional to wavelength smaller the wavelength higher is the energy that means this ener this wavelength which you have striken on the electron it poses high energy okay so first initially it will give you the position but later on what is going to happen this particular ray or this particular light is going to transmit its energy to this electron higher energy is going to affect the electron and its velocity will change earlier it was moving with some different velocity as soon as it will receive a shorter wavelength with higher energy its trajectory is going to change it's not necessary it will continue moving on the same path there are the chances that it is going to accept that energy and it will move in some yes so let's now see what is the significance of heisenberg's uncertainty principle okay based on the heisenberg's uncertainty principle how can we say that an electron do not moves in a perfect orbit till now we have studied that there is an atom and in an atom there is a center called nucleus and electron is moving in a definite orbit but by using heisenberg's uncertainty principle we can rule out this fact we can remove this fact how can we do so so see if this is your nucleus and this is the atom and this is your orbit in which the electron is moving see what do you mean by a perfect trajectory or a perfect orbit aap kisi bhi cheez ko ek perfect orbit tab kehte ho when you can locate a particular object 
आप किसी एक पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट को लोकेट कर पाओ और कुछ सेकेंड बाद उसकी वेलोसिटी को प्रिडिक्ट कर सको यू कैन ओनली से दिस एज अ परफेक्ट ऑर्बिट ऑर्बिट कब डिफाइन होती है वेन यू आर एबल टू लोकेट दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू आर एबल टू प्रिडिक्ट दैट आफ्टर फाइव सेकेंड और आफ्टर टेन सेकेंड विथ वॉट वेलासिटी द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज गोइंग टू मूव एंड इन विच डायरेक्शन इट इज गोइंग टू मूव एंड वॉट फोर्स इज गोइंग टू एक्ट एन दैट पर्टिकुलर इलेक्ट्रॉन If you are talking about this electron, what is its position at this instant of time? What will be its position at next five or ten seconds, or ten minutes, or twenty minutes? In which direction it is going to move, and what force is acting on that particular electron? These things, if you know, then only you can determine its trajectory or its path or its orbit. But according to the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, the fact is ruled out that you cannot precisely measure its position as well as velocity with certainty. मतलब कि आप उसकी पोजीशन और वेलोसिटी साइमल्टेनियसली सर्टेनिटी या प्रिसीजन के साथ मेजर नहीं कर सकते सो विथ दैट वी कैन से दैट दिस फैक्ट इज फॉल्स इलेक्ट्रॉन डू नॉट मूव इन अ वेल डिफाइंड ऑर्बिट बिकॉज इफ यू कैन नॉट डिटरमाइन इट्स पोजीशन एंड वेलोसिटी हाउ कैन यू से द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ ऑर्बिट इज देयर इन एन एटम ओके सो वी विल लेटर ऑन टॉक अबाउट how this orbit concept is going to get transformed into orbital let's talk about where is the heisenberg uncertainty principle is applicable is it applicable on us also or is it applicable only for the microscopic particles so let's see one example i have written hup that is heisenberg's uncertainty principle let me tell you heisenberg's uncertainty principle is applicable only for microscopic subatomic particles like proton electron and neutron it is not applicable on the object which is of milligram or above it milligram ka mass ho ya usse zyada bada ho to heisenberg's uncertainty principle ka koi matlab nahi hai uske upar let's see how i am going to take an object with mass 10 to the power minus 6 that is basically milligram ek milligram ka mass liya hai humne and we are going to calculate the uncertainty in its position and velocity well you will place the value h that is 6.6 to find to 10 to the power minus 34 pi ki value place karo mass ki value place karo what you are getting uncertainty value is 10 to the power minus 28 this is very 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 less it is so much less that you can definitely ignore it uska koi matlab hi nahi hai utni kam uncertainty we can readily ignore okay let's talk about this case for the electron so we know that electron carries the mass of 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 when you are going to place all the values you are going when you will solve this value you are going to get delta v into delta x is equals to 10 to the power minus 4 meter square second raised to minus 1 as i have told you delta v and delta x are inversely proportional if if suppose i know the value of delta x for the case of electron that is equal to 10 to the power minus 8 meter okay agar aapko position certainty se pata hai aapne position ye calculate ki hai delta x that is uncertainty in position now you want to calculate delta v how can you get it we know that delta v and delta x if i divide it with delta x value i can readily get the value of delta v so this value we know delta v into delta x is given 10 to the power minus 4 divide by delta x value that is 10 to the power minus 8 when you are going to solve this you are going to get 10 to the power 4 meter square second raised to minus second raised to minus 1 this is your uncertainty in the velocity now you can see how much large uncertainty in velocity is being generated delta x can be ruled out delta x value uncertainty is very very less but as i have told you the more accurately you will determine the certainty or uncertainty in position the less accuracy you will see the in the uncertainty of the velocity you can see this value is so high 10 to the power 4 
वन टू थ्री फोर दिस वैल्यू कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड अनसर्टेनिटी प्रिंसिपल इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर योर माइक्रोस्कोपिक पार्टिकल्स लाइक इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन हियर Inverse relation is being exactly followed. That is, if you know the position with certainty, the uncertainty will arise to larger extent in case of velocity, and vice versa. So I hope you are clear that it is not applicable for a body containing the mass of milligram or more. There you can rule out the value because it is very very less. It is of no significance. But in case of electron, it is highly significant, and that's why Heisenberg's uncertainty principle uh, is very important for the microscopic particles. So I hope you like this video. You understood the whole concept. If you have heard it properly. पूरे कॉन्सेंट्रेशन के साथ सुना होगा तो डेफिनेटली समझ में आया होगा आपको इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर सच केमिस्ट्री प्लीज प्लीज स्टे ट्यून विथ माई चैनल एंड यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल यू कैन शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स वेरी सून आई एम गोइंग टू फिनिश दिस चैप्टर इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन स्टे कनेक्टेड थैंक यू सो मच